Parsons wide receiver Tanner Barkus will have a chance to play one more game this summer. I'm very glad for that because I really do love football and I'm glad I'll get to play again in high school. Barkus has been selected to play in the Kansas Shrine Bowl after posting 75 catches for more than 1,000 yards with 13 touchdowns in the fall. It's about Tanner and you know it's also about Tanner's teammates. I think it means a lot to them as well um, to be able to see their teammate play in this game. It was just very exciting and pretty thrilling to know that I'd be doing it and it just it was pretty heartwarming too just being around my family and then all of them told me how proud they were of me and stuff like that. He's special you know he's a special player um, he's also a special kid. Tanner's kind of waited his turn here at Parsons and we've had some great receivers. He kind of burst onto the scene early this year and we just fed him the rock because uh, he, he, was, he was making play after play and just you know, when a guy's doing that, you want to get him the ball as much as possible. It was a special season for Barkus, not just for the numbers. He and the team dedicated the season to his grandfather and former Parsons coach Don Barkus, who passed away last summer. That was a big part of my motivation in season. It was the biggest part, really. Losing someone that means so much to uh, not only Parsons High School, but, you know, the community of Parsons. And, you know, it gave us extra motivation to go out there and fight for Don Barkus every single Friday night. It just meant a lot. It really meant everything to me. I'm, I'm proud it was for him. The Parsons senior is headed to school at KU after graduation, but he has not closed the door on playing in college if given the right opportunity. I joke around with people and I say that, you know, Tan Tanner Barkus is almost too smart to play football. What coach wouldn't love a kid that has a 4.4 GPA? you know, shows up on time to practice, 100% uh, weight room attendance, works hard every single day. Um, you know, it's a coach's dream to have a kid like that on their team. But for now, he's just focusing on his next game, the Shrine Bowl in June. It's a great honor to be able to play for them, and just that's really what it's all about when it comes down to it, regardless of what happens during the game. It's about them, so it's one of the biggest honors I've had in my life.